So in addition to all that course content, we want you to walk away from this class with something useful. Um, most of you will probably not go into astronomy, right? Most people don't go into astronomy. Um, you're probably taking this class for your own personal reasons. Maybe it's to satisfy science credit. Maybe it's just for personal curiosity. Or maybe you're exploring lots of different STEM disciplines and you do in fact want to go into astronomy. And wherever you're coming from, I want to make sure that this class serves you. So some of the things that we want to do in this class are build skills like curiosity. So again, you to ask questions that guide your own learning is one of the fundamental goals of this class. Um, in addition to just asking questions, I want you to learn how to ask better questions. So what do I mean by that? I mean, I want you to ask questions that you can actually have the tools to, to answer on your own. So instead of just, you know, wondering something, it's good to wonder, but it's better to, to wonder uh, productively, right? And be able to frame a question in such a way that you can actually um, find out the answer on your own or find out if there's an open mystery that's yet to be unsolved. All right, and then finally, um, I think the most important skill that um, students can build in any class is to be able to learn from failure and learn from feedback. So there will be moments that all of you will probably stumble in this class, and that's okay. Um, I've tried to design the course in such a way that you will not be completely sidelined by small mistakes. So. Um, I also want to be able to give you lots of feedback as you are in the process of learning um, so that you can, you know, make adjustments to your learning practice uh, that are productive for you. Okay, we're also going to practice very concrete skills. Um, the first of these is making and analyzing arguments based on evidence and logic. So astronomy being a science is based on evidence. We use evidence and chain it together within chains of reasoning um, to make our hypotheses and predictions um, and eventually form theories about how the universe works. And so, you know, this, this um, practice of using evidence and logic to make your arguments um, is not unique to science, um, but this class should give you lots of uh, practice doing that. And then finally, I want you to be able to find connections between um, astronomy, which can kind of seem sometimes a little bit um, out there, I guess, um, and find the connections to uh, culture. So to, you know, the culture of today, to your own life, maybe, or to cultures of the past and to um, people around the world who have practiced astronomy in different ways over time. All right, so how are we going to do these things? Um, there's a lot of, you know, new vocabulary in any science class. Um, I would say that, you know, 95% of this class is learning about, well, maybe not 95, let's say 60, 40. 60% is learning new vocabulary. 40% is learning the concepts and logic that connect all those ideas together. And so because there's so many new ideas and so many new um, you know, objects or, uh, you know, characters basically to learn about, then we have a very structured learning environment. So we'll start out with uh, doing pre-class reading. I expect you to have come to class uh, having done the reading or watched the, um, the uh, crash course videos, sorry, or both. Uh, and then there are a set of pre-class questions for you to test your knowledge. You can take those pre-class questions multiple times. So I would recommend trying them once before class. And then if you miss a few, try them again after class and then see if you still have questions and need to reach out for a help session or on Discord. Um, during class, make sure that you attend and ask lots of questions. Um, there will be poll questions. So I'll ask you plenty of questions and then you'll do uh, activities to just kind of, you know, be, I don't know, interacting with the new ideas. Um, the ways that you'll be able to review are kind of baked into the course as well. Um, there are forums each week and homework. Um, and then finally, you can study by using our study guides or come to our help sessions, which I will schedule by the end of the week. And then to check your knowledge, uh, there will be quizzes every other week, and there will be projects due on the weeks that there are not quizzes. All right, so that's our basic learning cycle. It's based on this idea of the study cycle, um, and this is a kind of a cycle that's been used in many different classes. So I didn't invent this. I'm just using what works. Now, part of an activity, the study guide is just there just for your own um, purposes. So those are questions that I... I'm just trying to ask those questions as a way for you to maybe guide your reading as you go. Um, but students use these in different ways. So some students will look through all the questions and then do the reading with the questions like next to them. Um, and that can be pretty helpful. And then other students use them as a kind of review um, set. So whatever works for you, however you want to use that. I will not be posting solutions for the study guides. But if you want to swap solutions with other students, I think that's a really good way to study and get at some of the confusions that you might be having. All right. So um, as part of that, all of those, um, you know, this class is broken down into many step-by-step -step pieces. And I... I value you doing those step-by-step -step pieces, and therefore I assign a good portion of your grade to doing those pieces. So the pre-class questions are about 14%, um, in-class activities 24%, and the homework 12%. So this entire side of this pie chart, I would say that's all the practice, right? This is you doing practice. This is where you can make mistakes. Um, I want you to you know, take all these learning opportunities, um, but some of them will be dropped. So don't worry if you can't complete every single assignment, um, some of them will be dropped from your overall grade, and those details are on the syllabus. Um, and then the other half of your points for this class come from um, demonstrating your understanding. So demonstrating um, what you know in projects and showing that you can communicate about astronomy. Um, and then exams and quizzes are how you will show that you have understood some of the basic um, ideas that we discuss in class. And then finally, um, reflections and forums are just part of plugging into the learning community, being engaged, um, being reflective about your own learning, and hopefully this will help you, um, you know, basically refine your study skills as we go through this class. All right, so that syllabus is on Moodle. Um, the textbook is also linked to on Moodle. It's free. If you want a print copy, you can order one through the, their website, uh, but the bookstore does not have copies of the printed book.